everyone and welcome to Pure Farming 2018. This video is sponsored by Techland. If you want to check out this game for yourself guys, there is a link down below. Go ahead and click it right now. So right now guys, I am in the my first farm mode and that's great for me because it kind of is my first farm and I have no idea what I'm doing. You can also customize your character. So that's why I made him look like this. I think it screams I have no idea how to farm. All right, so I'm gonna go into the vehicle finder here, guys, and I'm gonna go to my Mitsubishi L200. I'm gonna hop in my truck, and I'm gonna go to the store. Okay, I think that's a good place to go. Where's the store at? Huh? Driving a tractor is fun and all, guys, but you can't really do all that much in a tractor like you can with this truck. This thing absolutely cooks. I think a tractor goes, like, max 20 miles per hour, and this thing goes... Mm, let's see how fast we can make it go. Look at this loser over here. Hey, loser! Learn to drive faster, huh? We are going 78 miles per hour. That's as fast as I can make it go, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I have a confession. I only came to the store because I wanted to run someone over. Okay? I mean, is that really such a big deal? Here we go! Rest in peace, little guy. You're with old McDonald now. It's a little bit anticlimactic when you hit people, but I, I guess it's not really one of those games where you're supposed to do that. Get over here, bro! So this guy over here... Let me just go ahead and pop out of my vehicle for a second. This guy sells stuff. Just standing out here. It's kind of shady. I feel I feel like a criminal right now. Hey, dude, what's up? Buy a machine? Sure, why not? There was one other reason why I came to the store, guys. I wanted to see if the Mitsubishi L200 Monster is here because that thing looks pretty cool. And it's free, so I'm going to buy it for zero dollars. All right, thanks, dude. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is an old boring truck now. This is what I want. Well, oh, God, what? watch where you're going. Wow, he doesn't even stop to uh, get my insurance information. Okay, I got 78 miles per hour in the other one. This is a good hill to try and get some speed and 82. <laughs> Just want you guys to know the people in this game are not good drivers. They do not have a good idea of how to stop. So, okay, never mind. This time it was okay. Last time I tried that, I got rear-ended. Shut up, dude. I'm trying to turn around. Three-point turn. Five point turn or whatever. I'm just gonna leave my truck here. How about that? Huh? Huh? Oh, it's a lady. How you doing, ma'am? She's probably having a bad day, you know? Stuck in traffic. Poor thing. All right, now that I got that out of my system, guys, I'm ready to move on and do some real farming. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for this video, and then I found out that you can grow cannabis in this game. Cannabis sativa L, more commonly known as hemp. You can't smoke it, but you can I don't know, make shirts or something. So there's a few game modes in this, guys. I just showed you my first farm. It's great for novice players like myself who don't know what they're doing. Then, once you get a little bit more familiar with the game, you can do farming challenges or you can do free farming where you just mess around and do whatever the hell you want. So today, we are gonna try out a farming challenge because if you go to Colombia, you can do the jungle fire challenge. Colombia is a country full of scenic vistas and vast forests. However, occasionally prevalent heat can result in forest fires. This time the fire broke out not far from your farm. You have to save your crops from the oncoming flames. So the requirements for this are 31,000 pounds of hemp and 15,000 pounds of coffee. You gotta deliver it to the warehouse. And I guess if you double that, you probably just get a better score or something. So let's start that challenge and let's get some hemp. Welcome to the Logistics Center. I don't know what that is, but as you can see, there's some fire. So what we got to do So we got to uh, find our gomzel mash thingamabob. It's a big machine, and it's an industrial hemp harvester. Pop into that thing, and then you got to go over here. You got to put on the front thing. Now, this thing is really cool, guys. Watch this. So you just, you just roll on up. You got to put your vehicle right up into it and uh, attach the front device. Boom. Got it. Then, you've got to go over here to this trailer, attach the trailer, and then you can harvest hemp. Back it up, back it up, and attach the rear device. Okay, now we got our front thing. We got our back thing. We are ready. I actually love this machine, guys, even if it is scary as hell. Watch this. Oh, man! <laughs> I would not want to get caught in this thing. It's great for hemp, bad for people. Oh, and I also need to turn the harvesting mechanism on. There we go. And I probably got to bring the front thing down. Uh-huh. And now I got to bring it back up again because I'm not ready. Oh, my God. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I got to get out and take a look, man. Get over there. <laughs> All right, back to work. I just had to take it in for a minute. So, once again, turn. Shit, that's the get out of the vehicle button. There we go. Now, you just drive into this stuff and watch it go. That is just awesome. 
I'm actually like blown away by these giant harvesting machines, guys. You know, obviously that's how it works these days with all the technology and stuff, but damn. This is field number four. I actually have a lot of property. I have a lot of this stuff growing around and I'm not gonna be able to save it all. And it actually adds up pretty quick. I've already got 3,900 pounds of this stuff. stuck in a tree <laughs> hold on I got it I got it this is definitely not bad for the equipment at all I am a good farmer okay Guys, I just realized something super important. Since I don't need to collect all this stuff, I can just drive around in the field like this. I don't need to come out and go back in and try and do it perfectly. You know, I'm just trying to save as much as I can before the forest fire gets it. Damn you, forest fire! How dare you smoke my hemp on me? Whoa, hang on a second. I think we're good. I think we've filled up on hemp for now. How much we got? 17,000 pounds of hemp. Wow. Someone is gonna have a good day when I sell this. Deliver hemp to the warehouse. It's only 300 yards away. I got this. It's happening, dude. I also have to harvest coffee, so let me just go ahead and bring this in. Wait, what do I do with it now? Hello, it's me. Drop, there we go, that's the one right there. Mm. Drop that hemp, bro. Is it just going on the floor? Cause there's no grate here. Usually there's like a grate and it goes down through the grate, but that's fine. I just want some money. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not selling it. I'm just bringing it to my warehouse. I own all this hemp. Damn it, I just wanted to make some money. Well, I mean, I'm trying to save my farm from a forest fire, so maybe that should be my, you know, main goal here. I still got tons of time. I'm gonna go back to one of these fields again and just drive through it like a moron who has never farmed in his life. You can see it on the map, guys. <laughs> this is my field right now. Wow, I'm such a good farmer. You can clearly tell that I put a lot of thought into how I was gonna harvest all this stuff. Guys, this machine is freaking gigantic. Look how much it can do at once. It's awesome. It wouldn't take me very long at all to actually do this entire field if I had the time to do it, but I'm just gonna fill up one more time, go bring it to the warehouse, and then I gotta start working on the old copy, which has another really cool machine. Well, I'm really happy I get to harvest all this stuff, guys. I'm also really sad that the rest of it's just gonna burn down. Oh God, nature, you suck. Okay, now this thing, which kind of looks like a building on wheels, this is how you harvest coffee. Skybury, hmm. All right then. Now the question is, what do I need to do with this? I can't attach anything to the back, can I? So where do I put the, oh, does it go in the sides? Maybe it just goes in the sides. I think you just fill it up and maybe then drop it off or something. Let me give that a try. Okay, we're just gonna drive around in this. If I had known that, if I had known I didn't need the freaking cart there, I would have just used the vehicle switcher to grab this thing. Oh well, mistakes were made. This is enough to make me cry, guys. Look at this giant field of hemp, and I can't do anything about it, because I don't have time. I'm gonna fail my mission if I don't collect coffee now. Uh, this is coffee. Where else is the coffee at? Oh, there's some coffee up here, too. So let's go ahead and put a marker there. Bam, got a marker. This is hilarious, man. He looks so silly. He's just sitting on this little tiny thing. There's, oh, what? This machine is definitely not as intimidating as the hemp harvester. Okay, so this is how coffee grows. All right, I like it. So it's these little bushes here. Don't they don't they grow as like cherries or something? It's like a coffee cherry, and then you gotta like do all kinds of stuff with it to turn it into a bean. I don't know, man. I don't even drink coffee, okay? But I gotta harvest it now, so let's harvest it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man, I wouldn't wanna get caught in there either. I'm trying to figure out which one of these machines it would hurt more to be inside. I'm gonna choose neither. Okay, I am doing it. Oh. Look at that, it just rips them right off the bushes. And the bushes stay there, cause they can keep on producing. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, I love it. Cause the hemp, you just gotta rip it down, but it's, it grows super fast. It's apparently like better than trees or something, but it's illegal in a lot of places because it looks like the other stuff. It's a super relaxing game. You can kind of just, you know, throw on your own tunes and just go to town, harvesting your stuff, selling your stuff, buying your stuff. You can also make other people do it. You could, oh, hey, check it out, we are done. There is no more beans getting ripped off that plant. Time to go to the warehouse. 16.7 thousand pounds of coffee. Gee, that's enough to last my wife like a day? Oh my God, what, drone? There's a drone, what is the drone doing? Holy crap, drone, where are you? You can you let me know how that forest fire is going? Looks, oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Oh, they also give you information on each thing so you can see what needs to be done. That's super cool. I didn't realize there was a drone. And you can place markers with your drone as well. You just point at the ground. Boop. Oh. Oh. -oh. Okay, now where the hell is the coffee warehouse? Because I can't put the coffee in the hemp warehouse. That's not a thing. Ha, ah, coffee warehouse, 2.2 million pounds. That's a lot of coffee. Holy crap. All right, well, I just got to cross a bridge, apparently. Okay, that's fine. You know, I mean, this thing doesn't go very fast, but I'll get there. How much time do I got left? We still got six hours, guys. That's plenty of time. I just got to make one more trip. I think this is enough coffee for me to complete the mission. Okay, knock, knock, here I come, going in here, and how the heck do we even get rid of this stuff? Is that a grate? Yes, this is a grate. That's what I was talking about earlier, guys. So you drop it right in there, I guess, so you can see the little things in the side, and drop. Oh, what? What's going on? You're like a transformer now. Wow. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, you met the minimum requirements. You can continue playing and try to meet the maximum requirements for another achievement. I'm not gonna get it. Am I allowed to go to, what the hell is wrong with your face, dude? The lighting is not flattering at all. <laughs> just wondering if I'm allowed to go to bed, guys, cause it's getting dark out. It's hard to farm in the dark. You know what, screw it, guys. We are just gonna do some night harvesting, okay? That hemp is not gonna harvest itself. And I don't want mother nature to get smoked up too much. I shall harvest under the cover of darkness. Not because it's an illegal activity. I just think it's gonna look cool. I will now harvest cannabis into the shape of a happy face. It's a sponsored video, guys. I can't go doing anything inappropriate, okay? Okay, I got the outline done. I'm very unsure about how this turned out. Well, okay, it's not bad. You know, I was expecting to be worse. So now let's go up and get one eye. Uh, go ahead and pop that marker in. And now, the finishing touches. The smile. Oh, what? The storage is full. No! Oh, man, now it's gonna look stupid. Well, it's like almost smiling. It's a it's kind of a half smile type of thing, whatever. I'm gonna go drop this off before time is up. I hate everything. Oh yeah, I am your supplier. I will give you that mwah, dank green stuff. I didn't realize this thing was gonna get dirty after a while. How do I clean this thing? How do I clean my industrial hemp harvester? Whatever, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it dirty. It's fine. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Challenge one. I got a big ol' silver trophy. I'm assuming it would've been gold if I got the maximum requirements, but geez, man, I had expectations and I exceeded them. That's good enough. All right, guys, that was Pure Farming 2018. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to Techland for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out Pure Farming 2018, there's a link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.